Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. So the question is, have you ever wanted to know how much wattage your solar panel is producing? Well, to be honest with you, I have been charging uh, power stations via solar for some time, and some of the power stations don't have a input telling you what the actual power station is receiving. Well, guess what? I went out and picked up this PowerWorks Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. Now, what's cool about this guy is it's got MC4 cables on both sides, so it's real simple. Okay, You connect your source to the left side, you connect your load to the right, standard MC4 cables, and you're rocking and rolling. I'm going to be doing a test with a 200 watt solar panel connected to a new power station I'm doing a review on. I want, I want to know how much wattage that power station is receiving, but how much wattage this solar panel is producing. So let's get going with the review. I'll go over to display. I'll go over specs with you. And I'll show you how it works. All right, guys, so I am here with this MC4 meter, which is uh, really nice. I'm excited to use it today. Um, very easy to connect, doesn't need any batteries or anything. So your source goes on this side, your load goes on that side. Connecting it is real simple. You just wanna make sure that you're connecting the connectors nice and tight. All right, so let's connect the uh, source on this side, making sure that this is closed all the way. Let's go ahead and connect the other side got a nice clip which is good and now let's connect our load okay and again same thing guys real simple real easy to use has a nice display um, we'll definitely check and see how this performs um, and then the other thing you you want to make sure you have uh, the mc4 um, uh, tool this is very helpful all right so when you want to take off these cables um, all you do is really just put these around this part here you see and uh, it'll allow you I have to do it on top guys all right but uh, put it in um, it has a couple of sets of teeth but actually allows you to disconnect the cable so you can either put them in here or you can put them in here as you can see I was able to disconnect that so here's my setup I got the power station and I've got the power wattage meter connected to it from the side there, okay? So it's plugged into an XT60. And here's the wattage meter, you know, giving you all types of really good information. Now it's early in the morning, so the sun isn't as strong and I've got some clouds in the air, okay? So it's not producing as much wattage at this time. But um, I'll make sure to include a link in the description on this power station review that I'm doing as well. But let's go take a look at the solar panel. As you can see, I've got extension cables and I've got a 200 watt solar panel here uh, facing the sun that I continuously move throughout the day. By the way, if you'd like to see the power station review that I use the watt meter cables on, this power station has an optional battery, by the way, that doubles its capacity. It actually goes on the bottom of the unit. It's really nice. I'll go ahead and put a link in the upper right-hand corner, okay? Here's another test, guys. You know, that's a 200-watt panel receiving 130 watts right now. Uh, the sun is really strong. So, again, uh, this, this works really well, you know? I like it. As you can see, we got up to 142 watts out of that 200 watt panel. I would not have known that without this power meter. Love this thing. All right, guys, so for you Ego fans out there, one of the complaints you had with this Nexus power station is it doesn't tell you when you're charging solar the input wattage that you're receiving, right? So you've got this optional solar charger, and if you haven't seen our reviews, we did a three-part series. We'll put the links in the description for this guy, but guess what? 
we now have a wattage meter that actually works also for the Ego Power Nexus power station. This guy here will show you the wattage that you're receiving, okay, connected to your solar panel. We just set this up as a demo real quick, but isn't that awesome? We will put some links in the description, guys. Any questions, let us know. Thank you. So some final thoughts. I'm glad I got this. You know, the amount of information it gives you is just invaluable. You know, I do, uh, I'm starting to do reviews on power stations and uh, not all power stations give you the input wattage and the output wattage, right? But this gives you amps, it gives you amp hours, it gives you watts, it gives you watt hours and so much more information. So to me, it's definitely worth the 65 bucks. All right. I hope this information was helpful to you guys. All right, guys, hit pause if you want to review this. All right, I won't go over all the details with you. I hope it's helpful. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.